Hi everybody, it's Kat Gallus with Restore SD Plastic Surgery and I had a very scary connection there for a second. Kept pushing the button, nothing was happening. And um, hi Sarah. Um, and Dr. Greer is here. She's gonna join me to talk about skincare today. So I'm glad she made it and I could figure out my phone. Okay, we're gonna go for another edition of Carpools and Cannulas. Um, just gonna hopefully there you are hi oh my gosh I was pushing the button and is this thing on and I'm like oh my gosh I hope it's not on because I just look like an idiot right now. that's okay last time my phone totally dropped it like three minutes after we started so there you go <laughs> oh my gosh what we do for internet connection so good to see you again oh gosh, good to see you too I already saw you once this week on a meeting I know I know there's no little babies this time though that's a bummer no, um, I was amazed. We had a meeting earlier this week with the women in plastic surgeon, and there were no fewer than three babies on that meeting, which was awesome. I know. I feel like we might have racked the youngest attendance at a meeting because there was definitely a six-week-old baby, and then maybe like <laughs> four I weeks. I, like I never so see cute. the guy plastic surgeon show up with their babies. It's weird. I know. They never bring them. And they didn't interrupt. They were very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't raise any concerns. So, um, real quick, how's the weather in Ohio? Because it's raining in San Diego. So oh, it's a big it deal. Is, um, it mm -hmm. is 57 here, which is really nice for us. <laughs> I did a case over at the hospital. And um, when I went into the locker room, the nurse's locker room to change into scrubs, there was no less than like six pairs of Uggs because it never rains here. And jackets handy. It was just ridiculous. I'm like, this That's is awesome. Funny. Heaven forbid, it's not sunny and 70 yeah, degrees. Yeah, and hot. So, yeah. So everyone like was like, yes, break out my Uggs, put on my like North Face jacket. It's raining and cold in San Diego. It was sad. <laughs> uh, I saw a Patagonia jacket hanging in the OR locker room yesterday. I thought like one of the ER docs had gotten lost because they're the only ones <laughs> and they all wear it. That's so true. That's their uniform. Um, sir, the ER is that way. <laughs> Yes, it's, it's downstairs. Also, if you hear banging around, I made the mistake of giving my dog an empty jar of peanut butter to keep him quiet, and he's now banging it into the table, but I can't catch him, so. Oh, well, this whole uh, IG Live was just worth it to learn that that's a trick. We have empty jars of peanut butter all the time, and we never think to give it to our dog. Oh, yeah, it's very loud, um, which I didn't realize, but I know, but any toys, so we got that. I do want to cut his nails, too. Have you seen that trick? You like hold a spoonful no. of in front of them while they cut their nails. It works with kids too. Oh, yeah. We just take her to the vet and be like, please oh, trim. We tried when she was a puppy and then we couldn't do it. We're terrible. Yeah. We're wusses. Um, so I think we are going to talk about skincare, right? We were, which is extra fun because both our offices carry the same skincare line, which you got me completely hooked on. Yeah. I love our skincare line, which is Illumie MD. A L U M I E R M D. Yep. And, and it's, um, it's what about two years now? It's been mm -hmm. in Europe for much, much longer. Yep. It's sold in the UK and Canada. It's been around. It's, uh, it is, um, medically, uh, prescribed. So you have to get it from an MD, but it's also clean. So it's one of the only clean, um, medical grade skincare lines available. Yeah. So, it's how many of them have parabens and dyes and fragrances when you start mm -hmm. looking at the ingredients and my skin really tends to break out with that stuff especially the fragrances so it's been really nice yeah so th th there is like very little any kind of sensitivities it's a great hi dr smita i see that you're on there yeah, um I think us. so um what about the um what's your favorite product like what's your favorite product out of all of them it's probably the Calm R because I have that skin mm. that's just always red and flushed. And when I started the Illumier line, I started using the Calm R serum. And with that, like I can use their retinol every day. And with that, I don't break out and I don't get blotchy. It's amazing. How about you? What's your favorite? Um, I like the Bright and Clear because it's that toner that kind of exfoliates. And so it keeps my skin um, kind of... I have more oily skin and not so sensitive. And I think that really works um, for me. I will say that, um, yeah, that, so you mentioned the Calm R, but there are some 
for, to get your retinol on, I would say that the most important, since this doesn't be, become a like, you know, commercial for a Lumiere MD, um, retinol is super important for your skin as probably, um, you know, it's second to sunscreen, which we can yeah. talk about in a minute. Top two products. Like if you're not using sunscreen, don't spend money on the other stuff. And once you're using sunscreen, you need a retinol. It really doesn't matter what age you are. And there's a formulation that really anyone can tolerate. Because I think, I, you know, a lot of us have tried, I remember using the Obagi Tret in residency and my mm -hmm. coach thought I was just really angry all the time because my face was red for like six weeks while I got used to it. Right. And I think there yeah. are some skincare lines that have, so yeah, so find us, I say whatever sunscreen you can, um, hi Erin, whatever sunscreen you will actually put on daily and that stuff that's in your foundation doesn't count. It needs to be no. legit well, unless, sunscreen. Unless you're doing like pancake, full on TV shoot makeup, you're not wearing enough makeup for your SPF. Although I do like, do you like mineral or chemical better? I mean, I will admit I like the mineral better because the chemical I don't reapply and it breaks down and then I get burned later. Yeah, I'm a mineral, our um, Erin's on this. She's our coordinator and also has a, a staunch knowledge of skincare products and she's a huge proponent of mineral it's gonna block right that titanium and zinc oxide are gonna actually block the harmful rays and not break down and i think that's just that's the way to do it so find a yeah. mineral based sunscreen which the excuse was you know it's chalky it it's reminiscent of you know that zinc stuff <laughs> mineral all the way of, that you used to put on at the beach that came in different colors. Now, mm -hmm. due to the technology, the nanotechnology that they have, they micronize it and you can put it on and you don't look white or chalky. It goes on seamlessly yeah. and, and you get that physical dark block. Dark too. Um, Avino, I think Avino has a mineral sunscreen. I know Neutrogena has a mineral sunscreen. La Roche-Posay has another one. Mm -hmm. and you can get all those at CBS. You know, you don't have to spend tons of money. Correct. Now, if you want to amp up your sunscreen and add some, you know, antioxidants to it, then, you know, that's when the MD lines come into play. But bottom line, sunscreen, it's also safe. Mineral is also safe for reefs. So we're pretty close to Hawaii and they banned some of the other uh, chemical components in sunscreen. So you're not allowed to buy them there and it's bad for the coral reef. So lots of reasons to go mineral. Well, and Lots it's of reasons too. Yeah. Like you don't really know what those chemicals do long term when they're. <laughs> no. they're so I actually, I as I drink diet coke. <laughs> it's okay, I have my tea. Um, as you, like I, I took a course in food, drug, and biotech law in med school, which was admittedly incredibly boring. But what I learned that was interesting is most of the cosmeceutical ingredients, like all of the things that are makeup and cosmetics, they're not really steady. They're not held to the same standards that medications are and they're just like generally recognized as safe no one's reported a problem so you know i don't know the middle stuff is nice it doesn't interact with your skin it doesn't break down it's not absorbed exactly and so the other what's another common excuse i hear i use sunscreen but it's in my foundation which we've just established doesn't count yep, um i use softiness <laughs> right or it's chalky or I work inside or I work indoors all day. I love that one. It is often coming from one of my patients who's been getting laser treatments for brown spots. And so A of all, you're outside at some point, even in Cleveland, we're in the sun. And if you're spending money on laser treatments or, you know, skin lightening creams like Intellibrite or Hydroquinone, any exposure to the sun is going to make those melanocytes start turning out peg pigment. So you just need to protect from that, even that incidental exposure when you're in your car. Absolutely. And we have the Vectra camera, which shows brown spots. And so when you take a picture, almost to a person, the left side has more sun damage than the right when you do that big car. reveal. Yeah. And it's from the car. So my husband, who's had a basal cell cancer on his nose, and had to get him to start wearing sunscreen every day. After a while, he, I was like, hey, are, did you, I didn't see you put that on. And, oh, I'm in the OR today. Hmm. Oh, okay. Are you getting to the hospital via a tunnel? Because unless you're going through some underground tunnel, you're gonna be in your car driving to the hospital and then you're gonna Maybe drive home. A balaclava, it was raining earlier today. So <laughs> that's right. I, I with some sunglasses, you are good. If that is your excuse, I will accept it. Otherwise, just put the sunscreen on instead right? of moisturizer in the morning. Oh, exactly. 
All right, so our PSA for sunscreen is complete, I think. Yeah. Let's talk retinol. What do you love about retinol? Well, What's not it the, does not so many retinol. amazing things. I mean, it's my go-to product for any anti-aging because it's going to help exfoliate your skin, which will smooth fine lines. It increases cell turnover, so you're going to get rid of the hyperpigmentation faster. Um, it makes the dermal layers thicker, so you have – I'm reading Erin's text. You can be cool. <laughs> Erin, I wear hats all summer, by the way. She has um, the blue stone shield. It's this thing that makes you look like Darth Vader. It's hilarious. That's awesome. <laughs> I would like it on Instagram. But yeah, so many great anti-aging things. Downside is the irritation. Right. So the most, so I always tell people the gold standard is, a, is retinol. And the reason people don't use it or looking for other things is because you get that increased cell turnover and your skin gets red and flaky. Mm -hmm. So again, if you go with an MD skincare line that has put some science behind it, you know, ideally, um, they add things. And so the retinol that we were talking about with Illumia MD, for example, adds peptides that help strengthen your skin and other active ingredients that help calm your skin. So you're getting the benefits of the retinol without all the irritation. And again, if it's something that you can actually put on and commit to, even if you start, you know, two or three times a week and then work up to every day, then that's what we don't, you know, I'm not trying to sell patients a product that they use twice. They feel like their face is falling off and then it goes into, you know, a drawer somewhere. You need it. You need to put it on for it to work. But yeah, if you're going to pick two things, Desert Island, sunscreen, and retinol. And have you heard Dr. Sheila Nazari? And she gives my favorite answer to the question of what concentration retinol should I use? And it's whatever one you will tolerate and wear. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. is so true. I, I like also the with the newer technology, they micro encapsulate it. So it's a slower mm -hmm. release. And then your skin right. has to be retinol down into tretinoin, which is why tretinoin is the strongest. So your skin is actually metabolizing it. They're all vitamin A derivatives, but the active ingredient is the tretinoin. So when you get a retinol, it's further up the chain. So it's slowly mm -hmm. released and it's less irritating. So we have a lot of tricks to get you to use the skin products you should use, basically. Yes, and you can get there. And I do also remember going to, I think, a Durham conference. And on the floor, they had the special camera that would tell you the age of your skin, which was just dreadful. But mm. I went on it. And I realized, and then like a week later, my office is like, what's going on with your face? Like, why is this all red? Well, on the thing, you could see a clear delineation of where I was putting on all my product and not carrying it down. And so I started like thinking, okay, yeah. well, why don't I do that? And then you could see the increased cell turnover. So making sure you're applying your product correctly, getting it all over your face. Um, but it's a, just further proof that it actually works, right? I mean, oh, yeah. and it just has to be, any retinol is good, um, so you don't have to go for the T-Ret. Um, you don't have to have a 1.0 concentration, concentration. You don't actually have to use it every day, but several times a week is ideal. All of that, it's, it's the number one thing. You don't see an immediate result, though. It's strengthening your skin and increasing turnover. And so I think that's what makes it hard about skincare regimens is you want, you know, you want the, can I just laser it off results? And no, it's a, it's a long-term commitment. Right. It's basically like when we haven't worked out for a month and we go to the gym and we just do a thousand crunches and the next day, no six pack, it's because you haven't been teed in with the regular exercise and the good diet. And skincare is like that eating healthy part of going to the gym. If you're spending tons of money on laser peels, or even Botox and fillers, but you don't have that foundation of at least sunscreen and a retinol to do anti-aging, then you're, you know, you're not getting as much benefit from the money you're spending as you could be. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like going to the dentist. I always tell, t tell people twice a year to get your teeth cleaned, but then not brushing your teeth every day. Yeah. That's besides that's just gross but i like the crunches like the, <laughs> the thousand crunches metaphor. that one's good i might oh, steal it. Pale, but now i have to tell you i have to admit since really once we started launching Illumier, i got a lot more teed up on skincare and did a lot more reading because their website is so educational mm -hmm. and i have to admit my favorite condition to treat now which i hated previously was melasma because it is oh, so nice yeah, and mm -hmm. I really, I love treating it now that I'm hitting it with like five different skincare products because I used to do laser, which kind mm -hmm. of helps, but sometimes mm -hmm. makes it worse. Um, and then read in one of the aesthetic magazines, this really nice skincare routine, just generic brands, but basically a hydroquinone, 
an alpha hydroxy acid or lactic acid mm -hmm. to increase that cell turnover, a tretinoin, and then sunscreen and combining those four products. And then if it's really stubborn, maybe using some chemical peels just to increase the exfoliation. I have seen some amazing results. Oh, that's awesome. So what, what yeah. HQ product do you use? I actually carry the Obagi 4% hydroquinone and I okay. think that with the IntelliBright because your skin kind mm -hmm. of adapts to it and it stops working mm -hmm. after a while. So I'll okay. have them between bottles. Yeah, we use the Zio HQ and then, <laughs> which is same dude who yeah. <laughs> created it. And Obagi. Got yeah. and, then, um, and then also IntelliBright. We like that as well. Yeah. Um, and then in terms of, oh, so for melasma, actually, because that is, a, you know, it's a common complaint. It's stubborn. Have you had any experience with using TXA orally or otherwise? Because I feel like that's the next wave. I'm I know, interested. I was just reading about that. Have you used it at all? Mm -mm. I did recommend it to a friend in Texas who had her germ prescribe it and got great results. But yeah, it just prescribing it orally makes me a little bit nervous because of the clotting potential. But right. um, that's where we use it in plastics is to make people yeah. less clot. Right. So I do put it in like my tumescent solution for liposuction because it decreases mm -hmm. bleeding and bruising. Um, however, having someone take the pill just to improve their skin makes me nervous. Yeah. Um, there are articles, there are studies coming out. So hopefully they'll prove that the safety is. TXA is transamatic acid. It's a, it's a clotting um, medication that has been around forever, like literally been around forever. So they're starting to incorporate it into skincare. I've seen hints of it and I'm hoping that, you know, more skincare lines put it in, but you have to know if you apply it topically that it is going to improve melasma. You know, that's the difference. Is it going to help? So I've seen some studies where they're using it with microneedling or fractionated <laughs> laser and applying it after that. And I'm just waiting for somebody to figure out, you know, the optimal treatment to start adding that in. Because it would be pretty easy to apply it topically um, in combination with a laser. Um, but, you know, trying to sort out all the regimens is a little, is sometimes, there's somebody else who can do a study and tell me what I need to do <laughs> for exactly, that. Exactly. Well, and that's part of what I love about the Illuminate line that we both carry is they read all the studies and then they make sure that they're using the concentration of active ingredient that was clinically, like that was done in the study instead of just like spritzing a little in. It's like, right. oh, well, if this was the, the actual concentration of that, we'll make sure that's what we include in our product. Yeah, exactly. And they call it angel dusting, which we hadn't never heard of, but it's basically saying you have product in um, you know, I have retinol in this skincare cream, but really it's just a whisper of it. Right. And so you can be applying it all day. Oh yeah, I'm not getting any reaction. Yeah, because it, you know, they don't have the concentrations of the ingredients. That's not how that works. It's very proprietary. And well, so knowing and that you're- That's probably yeah. a lot of the drugstore brands too. Like everything has a, a whiff of retinol in it. Right. <laughs> Somebody said they'd volunteer to be a lab rat. <laughs> sure, I will bring you in and we will, I have the TXA, we can um, do something and, and put it on your face. There's no downside for that, but I would certainly not want to commit people to a regimen that um, isn't, isn't effective. But yes, usually Erin's my lab rat, to be honest. So <laughs> you use your office as a lab rat. But her skin, <laughs> she's committed to sunscreen, so she doesn't have any melasma to tackle. Um, good for her. She is, she is very committed. She has great skin. So what about, um, what's your take on vitamin C? Speaking of other products that are, you know, important. Yeah. I like it. I use it. I mean, that one, you're not going to see dramatic changes. Oh, Erin, I'll try anything once. Nice. Um, it, no. It's a preventative. So it's going to prevent the free radicals. I recommend it to all my patients who don't have a lot of sun damage yet to help prevent. And I use the Everactive C and E peptide from Illumier, mm -hmm. which... I like their, uh, see, we're both totally biased and this is turning into an Illumier commercial, but theirs is nice because the vitamin C crystals are separate from the serum and you mix them when you open the bottle because it mm -hmm. oxidizes really quickly. And right. I used to use the Obagi and like a month later it would be all yellowed because it had oxidized. Mm -hmm. And at that point it's not even working. Right. You're just, it's right. And I do tell people like, you want to make sure your vitamin C if you're not going to use, you know, the line I recommend is the bottle. If it's a serum, is the, the bottle best be brown? Because yeah. otherwise, if it's a clear bottle, then it's going to oxidize and it's going to turn yellow and you just spent money on nothing. And you also don't want it to hang around your house. 
for more than a month or so too. It's designed to be used daily. And since it's not very shelf stable, you want to make sure it's not like, oh, I'm going to drag this out over six months yeah. of applying it. No. no. If it's not taking you a month to use up, start getting your neck, start getting the tag with you. Yeah. More Figure time. it out. Yeah. But I do agree. Vitamin C is an excellent brightener and it also is um, just a powerful antioxidant and it gets overlooked for a new, you know, some, there's, a, you know, we always are looking for the new deal, but honestly, this vitamin C and retinol are just, they're foundational and you should be using something with both of those in it. So yeah. how do you, do you guys do in-person consultations for your skincare? Do you have online consultations? Like how have you guys been doing that with the COVID? So we've offered virtual skincare consultations, but most of our patients are coming in for something else or will come in for a skincare consultation if they're having an esthetician treatment or mm -hmm. just sometimes they just, you're coming in for something else and we will do a quick, like, let's talk about skincare and uh, what you're doing. And I do try to bring it up with my injectable patients because you just want to make sure that people are protecting their investment. What about right. you? Well, we actually, with COVID and people not necessarily wanting to come in, we launched um, a virtual platform on our website where it's just a form I have people fill out. And it goes through, they can check off their pain points, they can check off their problem areas, list anything that they're using currently, and if they've had bad reactions to anything, and then kind of tell me what they're looking for. And I have them upload pictures from their phone. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it comes right to my email so I can look at the photos, look at what's bugging them, and then I just design a program for them and they can either come by and pick it up or really nice they can order it just on the Illumia website and it's drop ship right to them which is cool and there's actually like a prescription pad in there i don't know if you mm -hmm. used it but i can like yes. put all of the products there and then i just give them instructions and that's right. really nice for people because they don't necessarily have to come in yeah we probably need to leverage that a little bit more and make it accessible for patients we're redoing our website right now but yeah offering that like kind of like concierge virtual skincare so people mm -hmm. can decide what um you know what i also usually tell them hey i'm gonna you know give you a list from head to toe what you would might need but you know these are the critical ones to add and try to keep it simple at the beginning because otherwise it gets too overwhelming and then again if you're not committed to doing it yeah. yeah if nothing else wash your face put on sunscreen <laughs> yeah i feel like that goes unsaid in our world but please wash your face because if you don't yeah. wash your face at night it's just it's a cr All that it's criminal it, like, grinding into your pores and, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah no and then are there things that you do on um so your regimen includes retinol and vitamin c we talked about that correct yeah. And sunscreen. Is there anything else that you like to use? I kind of have like, I have this little caddy of a bajillion bottles and I use mm -hmm. most of them. But yeah, I'll like, I usually start out with a good cleanser. I also like the bright and clear. I use that in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll use the Calm R Serum and sunscreen. I like the tinted because I don't wear foundation mm -hmm. or with masks all day. So I wear the tinted sunscreen. And then at night, I don't use the bright and clear and I use a retinol instead. And I have the, I also have the eye moisturizer for when I'm looking yeah. like extra dry and crinkly. It just helps a little bit more. Yeah. I do like a good eye cream. So. How do you know any other favorite products? Um, I like the bright and clear for sure. I use that twice a day, but my skin's a little more oily and um, it, I think it helps exfoliate. I mm -hmm. will use... Um, vitamin C in the morning, retinol at night. I like the eye cream. And I'll also add in Intellibrite because I yeah. think that's helpful. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit. And then if I'm feeling dry, which is fairly rare, but it does happen, I do like the AGE or the Ultimate Boost Serum. And those are just very hydrating. So yeah, yeah that's kind of my routine. And I do, all, but I feel like people are sometimes, you know, it's great when you can get to that level where you're savvy enough to know how to adjust for um, you know, what your skin is doing, but if you want to set it and forget it, giving somebody like two or three products and a routine is usually the best way. Otherwise people get overwhelmed for sure. Right. Well, and the thing is you can always rotate too, you know, if you want to use a vitamin C for three months and then maybe mm -hmm. switch to a lightener like Intellibrite, that's totally fine if you want to keep your skincare routine simple and you can just kind of switch out products. Like if it's summer and you're getting more sun and more freckles, then use Intellibrite. If it's winter and you're okay with that, 
then, you know, switch to the vitamin C and do that antioxidant. Exactly. I totally agree. And then are you guys in Ohio, do you do laser year round or do you have laser season? We actually can do laser year round because so many of my patients are the super fair folk like I am who just don't get a lot of sun. Um, mm -hmm. We like to do forever young BBLs and BBL obviously is really seasonal. So we tend to do those mostly like late fall, winter, spring. Um, okay. But we do have clients who come in even for laser hair removal all summer, and we'll still do some laser peels. It's just very person dependent. Okay. Yeah, we try to, um, <laughs> the, somebody is just like loves women plastic surgeons. Yeah, we like to sell skincare and talk about skincare because we use skincare. We do. So and do yes, you Aaron, we have Halo. I love Halo. <laughs> Aaron's familiar with Halo from a different office, so she really likes it. Yeah. It is really nice. The results, because I used to just do the micro laser peel, and the downtime was like two weeks for the results I get with Halo in five days. That's nice. nice. And this I is a Cyton, right? Machine. What? The Cyton machine. Yeah, it's the Cyton, the fully loaded, lovely Cyton. But yeah, the Halo, I actually, you can wear makeup afterward. I went to a wedding shower like two days after my Halo and just threw on some mineral foundation. And nobody noticed. I wouldn't like recommend that to my patients because it'll be the one person who like beat red, but it's a lot right. easier recovery. That's nice. Yeah. We definitely have a laser season here um, because it's so sunny during the summertime and I just, it's really hard to stay out of the sun and yeah. there's a lot, it's almost like the laser season gets shorter and shorter depending on the weather. Like you think it's going to be, you know, the spring, but then you find out it's a baseball mom and you're like, no, 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 no. Cause I know you're not going to be able to stay out of the sun. Uh, oh, Hey Sydney, you're trying to get your mother-in-law to come see me. I do <laughs> so much liposuction. I would love to see her. That would be fun. Yeah. That that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, we should talk about that. Maybe next time we can talk, we can yeah. deep dive into liposuction. Absolutely. Um, it, it'll be extra interesting. Cause I don't know if you know this. I used to work at Sonobello, which is one of the chain yeah. companies. And it That's was, uh, great. yeah, I learned, I learned a lot, some great, some interesting. So that'll, <laughs> get, that'll be a good conversation. Yes. Yeah. You can um, tell us the inside scoop. There's yeah. a place that's opening now called, um, Aaron will have to remind me the air, uh, it's air something, air lipo, air express. I don't know. It's like another sauna bello, but with a slightly different modification. And yeah. um, it's, uh, <laughs> she'll join the next one if we talk about lipo okay right. that sounds good we usually try to do it in about two weeks it kind of depends on our meeting schedule yeah yeah I got uh hammered with the uh meeting conferences and scheduling conferences elite lipo that's right yeah. so um it was uh <laughs> hi Alicia and it's air sculpt correct Aaron's here to like let us know what's what Oh, um, I love the support. <laughs> I need to tell my staff, you guys need to be feeding me info. That's right. When I can't think of the words, I need Aaron. It's too much Diet Coke, to be honest. That's probably what's... Uh... Chemicals, probably, yep. Um, all right, super. Any last, I don't want this to go on for too long, but any last uh, fleeting um, skincare oh. recommendations? Well, you know, if you are interested in a Lumiere in your San Diego, see Dr. Gallus. If you're in Ohio, I'm actually the only person in Ohio who carries it. Um, but you can go to our website, greerplastics.org forward slash skincare dash routine. And you can request a whole routine and I'll hook you up. But there's also info there on how you can purchase it online without necessarily coming to see us. So you don't have to be close to one of us to get in on the good stuff. That's right. We definitely do have patients that are from all over the country that find us because there are not a ton of people that carry a uh, Lumiere MD. I know they would like to change that, but for yeah. right now, um, to get to help guide you through the process, you can definitely go to Restore SD Plastic Surgery, our website, and um, just put an inquiry in and we can talk you through it. So Perfect. yeah. All right. All right. Well, it was lovely talking to you as usual. Yeah. And um <laughs> We will post about two weeks and we will talk about um, lipo. Liposuction. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I've had Looking lipo. Forward. So it'll be a good talk. <laughs> awesome. All Bye. right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> Bye.